So people should only be allowed to make good choices. No, people should make the choices that have good results. Hi, I'm Zach Weissmuller for Reason TV. We're here in Charlotte, North Carolina on day one of the Democratic National Convention. We're going to talk to Democratic delegates and supporters about the issue of choice. We want to see if the respect for choice extends to other areas of human activity besides abortion. One thing we're talking about today here is choice. The Democratic platform strongly supports Roe v. Wade. Are you pro-choice? I'm absolutely pro-choice. Are you pro-choice? Yes. It's a woman's a right to choose what she wants to do with her body. Why is choice an important issue? Because a woman should have a right to choose based on her doctor and her family's decisions. There's been trans fat bans in certain states, bans on large sodas. Are you pro-choice in terms of what you put in your own body? I think a lot of people uh, make harmful decisions. There's alcohol, there's cigarette smoking. And so I understand the government trying to intervene because the American taxpayer pays a lot of money for fat people. Are you Mississippi's the fattest state in the union? And if anybody could use some reduction in the trans fat they intake, it would be my state. So in that case, you're for taking away the consumer choice. Uh, absolutely. Chuck Schumer was pushing the ban of Four Loco, which is a combination of caffeine and alcohol. That seems like a clear taking away of a choice. Would you not agree with that? Well. Is it, is it really a choice? You're, you're deciding to do something that's not healthy for you. That's a choice, right? But if you decide to do something that's not healthy for you, let's talk about the results of that action that you take. So people should only be allowed to make good choices? No, people should make the choices that have good results. Should consumers have a choice in what kind of light bulbs they want to buy? No, they shouldn't, because if they're polluting the earth, it's going to last longer than their lifetime. You're okay with restricting choice yeah. when light bulbs. Yeah, and even if you do prefer the warm glow, if you're that particular about the lighting, does that really come before the safety and future of our planet? To choose not to be in a union, is that a choice that should be... It should be a choice not to be in a union, yep. Um, so you're in favor of rights work state. No, I... Well, you, choice not to be in a union, but I think unions do good, so I would choose. I, I guess not. I'm not in favor of right to work. Should people have the choice not to join a union? Uh, actually, no. I don't like the right to work states. You're from Louisiana. What about school choice, the, the, the choice of parents <laughs> to, uh, to send their kids to whatever school they think is best? Well, I think if you had reasonable schools that were held to accountability mm -hmm. and, and used a reasonable curriculum, I think it would be a wonderful thing. Yeah. There are a lot of for-profit charter schools. There is the profit motive a bad thing? I think the profit motive is not something that should be interjected into public education. I'm ABD, all but dissertation, all right? It was hard enough for me to navigate my child through her educational progress, right? When you're talking about people who for no reason of their own are unable to understand the educational system, yes, I think there ought to be some regulations in place to help those parents and to provide for the future of their children. Okay, but you are pro-choice. I'm definitely pro-choice when it comes to per, uh, people's bodies. I do want to reiterate, you're, you are pro-choice though. I'm pro-choice on everything about everything about everything. The person should have a right to choose but there should be an informed choice and government has a role in that. So maybe there's some contradictions, but people are made up of contradictions. You're pro-choice. I'm pro-intervention. Gotcha.